Hello everyone, Mr. Clark here, and I want to take a couple minutes tonight to share with you what the hitchcock Tuller School District is doing in response to the COVID-19 virus. We all find ourselves in uncertain and unprecedented times. The one thing I do know for certain is that the American people, residents of South Dakota, and most importantly, the patrons of the hitchcock Tuller School District will meet this new challenge with resolve, determination, and grit that will most definitely see us through these challenging times. I want everybody to know that our staff has been amazing as we find ourselves in an extended period of having our doors closed and we are tasked with the challenge of finding new and innovative ways to educate our students. Our teachers and staff have literally had to turn a system of education that we have known for centuries literally upside down. They weren't asked to do this in weeks or months, but they were asked to do it in hours and days. They've all met the challenge head on and have been working together to ensure the education continues and the services we provide are relevant and productive. And as we push our students to be academically successful, even if it is from a distance. We know that this model can't be successful without you, the students, parents, grandparents, and community members. We thank you all for your efforts in making this work and truly understand the African proverb now that states it takes a village to raise a child. But in our current situation, it would be to educate the next generation. We will continue to provide distance or e-learning opportunities over the next five weeks with another round of material being delivered Monday morning sometime. We are working right now to get all of that prepared and sent home. Our plan is to send home everything that students will need over the next five weeks and teachers will then communicate with students and or parents via email concerning assignments for the day or week. We obviously don't know what tomorrow or next week holds, so we want to try to get everything we can sent home as soon as possible. One thing that will be a little bit different is that the 4th, 5th, and 6th graders, we will be sending the Chromebooks home so that they can utilize those in their education over these next five weeks. So make sure you're looking for that. Um, your teachers will make sure that you know your login information and they will utilize that tool for virtual labs, communication, and some other assignments throughout the next few weeks. On Wednesday, we had a lot of different staff meetings via Zoom, an online meeting um, platform. And we talked about what our expectations and what things would look like over the next five weeks as we transition into a longer period of time. One thing that I had asked the staff to do at the beginning of the year was to step outside of their comfort zone and try something new. And uh, I reminded staff of that and said, well, you get to literally all get to do that now as we try to find new ways and exciting ways to be productive and educate our students. Um, the one thing we really talked about was how much work should we expect? The reality is that we cannot recreate what we do in the classroom. Um, some of our classrooms, they're doing some of our classes and our grade levels are doing 15 to 20 different assignments and things throughout the day. And we know we can't send that amount of work home and expect that to get done and back to us. So we really wanted to prioritize um, and come up with clear expectations for the two to four things per day that students need to turn in and return to us via email. So first of all, let's talk about the elementary. Um, the main focus in the elementary is going to be on the core subject areas of reading and math. We really want kids to continue to get their reading in, their vocabulary to improve, and we also want to continue with their math lessons and math curriculum. Some of that may be online things like IXL or math practices. Others will be more paper pencil. And some of the grades may try even something new with math labs where it's one problem that students can use different resources, whether it's online or whatever else, to solve their problems. They will try to infuse some social studies and science in throughout the week um, and some writing as well. <clears throat> um, one thing that's going to change is uh, there's been a lot of people asking how are we going to turn in the homework. We had thought that we would just transition and drop off new stuff, pick up the old stuff, but after talking to some of the health officials in the area and some of the meetings that I've been taking part of across the state, They've really warned us about transferring materials back and forth on a consistent basis. So we're asking all elementary parents, all the work that you had for this week, your teachers will contact you and let you know how to return that to them, but we're gonna try to see if we can get pictures taken of that material and emailed back to us. 
That will be the standard way to return the homework that teachers want from their kids, is to have them take pictures and email that back to the teachers. All of the parents should have the emails for their teachers. So if you don't have a way to take pictures and email work back, uh, please drop me an email, jeff.clark at k12.sd.us. Teachers will be in touch with all of you um, via email or remind in the next couple days as we prepare for next week's assignments. They may be trying some new things with things like Zoom and some face-to-face -face activities for students. That will be something that we may reevaluate each week and try to incorporate more and more of as it is possible. Now, junior high, high school students, all of you will need a Zoom account set up by Monday and students will be required to check into their classes during the time that they would be normally scheduled. First period starts at 820. The expectation would be that you would check your email and be available at 820 to get your assignment and or to uh, correspond with your teacher via an online platform. All work for the week will be done by 345 on Friday and there will be no homework over the weekend. We want that time for families and students to focus on getting away, stepping away and spending some time together. Students will be receiving an email from Mr. Nelson outlining all these new procedures and requirements. So please be looking for that. Once again, I want to thank you all for, for your cooperation and support as we transition to this, uh, to this new platform of distance slash e-learning. One thing I want you to know is that we are just like all other state employees right now. We are working. We're just working from home. You're looking at my new office right now. And so teachers are available throughout the day. They are trying to come up with new ways and new lessons to engage students in a different way, in a new way. And uh, it may be a challenge, but I think they're excited and ready for the challenge as well. We miss all of our students. We miss seeing the parents at activities. We hope that this is, concludes as soon as possible. I would just like to remind everybody to take some time and reach out to those people and still connect with them, whether that's through FaceTime, a phone conversation, a text message. Um, have a good evening, and I will be doing this every Friday. So make sure that you tune in on Fridays. This will be posted on Facebook. Um, check out my Twitter account as well, at H-T-S-U-P-T. It'll be posted there as well. Thank you.